Burnaby is the third most populated city in Metro Vancouver, just after the city of Vancouver and Surrey. It's important that you know what it is like to live in different parts of Burnaby, so you choose the area that fits you best before moving here. My name is Wanbei, a Metro Vancouver realtor that helps clients buy and sell real estate in our beautiful city. I've personally spent over 10 years as a young boy, teenager, and as an adult in Burnaby, so I feel like I can give some perspective on what it is like to live here. For the sake of explaining the city in a simple way, I'm going to divide Burnaby into three major parts. North Burnaby, South Burnaby, and the middle part, Burnaby. I will start with North Burnaby where I have the most personal experience, which I consider the least populated area in Burnaby, where there are majority single family homes and townhomes, with the exception of Brentwood, where majority of the high rises are located, as well as newly updated and expanded Brentwood Mall. North Burnaby is convenient to reach other cities such as downtown Vancouver, North Shore, SFU Burnaby campus, or going east with easy access to Hastings Street, Trans-Canada Highway, Lloyd Highway or Barnett Highway. For education, the largest high schools you'll find is Burnaby North, Burnaby Mountain, and Alpha Secondary. Compared to the other parts of Burnaby, there seems to be less traffic, though it definitely still exists during rush hour, like on Lloyd Highway or on Hastings Street. North Burnaby has plenty of parks to enjoy, and there are many quiet neighborhoods, such as Capitol Hill, Park Crest, Forest Hills, just to name a few. On to South Burnaby, there is more going on, especially referring to the metro town area where it is one of the largest urban areas in Metro Vancouver, outside of the downtown core. You will find plenty of high-rise condo buildings and offices surrounding the Metro Town Mall, which is the largest shopping mall in British Columbia. There seems to be new development happening in and around Metro Town, which keeps the area busy and has many shops and restaurants to support the dense population. It is also a hotspot for amazing and popular food, especially for Asian foods. Ramen, hot pot, dim sum, Korean barbecue, or anything you can think of, they have it, and probably lots of it. Oh, and if you like bubble tea like I do, you can probably spot a bubble tea shop every block or two. Outside of the core metro town area, you can find very popular neighborhoods that are more family oriented and quieter, such as South Slope and Deer Lake. Living in this area, you will only have to commute a couple minutes to reach anything you need near Metro Town, being very central yet still get to be in a quieter neighborhood. The largest high schools you'll find are Burnaby South Secondary and Burn Creek. Lastly, I'm going to be speaking about the central part of Burnaby, often technically referred to as East Burnaby, but it looks more middle to me. Anyway, some of the neighbors will include The Crest, Garden Village, Edmonds, and a couple more. Often, these areas are grouped into either North Burnaby or South Burnaby, but I feel like they have their own pros and cons of being in the middle. For the pros, as the name suggests, it is a very central location with easy access to both South and North Burnaby, and shopping centers all within about 15 minutes. Con, there seems to be a lot of traffic by these areas, but honestly it's not too bad as I lived in this area before, and it was totally manageable. For high schools, you'll be able to find Mossgrop, Burnaby Central, and Caribou Hill. Central Burnaby is also home to the BCIT campus and Burnaby Hospital. So that is my summary of Burnaby divided into three major sections. What did you think? Do you agree or disagree? Shoot me an email link below to get in touch with me about buying or selling real estate in all of Metro Vancouver. I make videos all about living in Vancouver, so subscribe and check out some of my other popular videos right here.